Summary of Pachinko by Min Jin Lee An elderly couple in the small Korean town of Yongdo starts taking in lodgers in order to supplement their income at the turn of the 20th century. Many parts of Korea are poor after Japan takes them over in 1910, but the couple still manages to open a successful boarding house. Their son Honey gets married to a woman named Yang Jin and has a successful and happy marriage, even though his beloved daughter Sunja has a cleft lip and a strangely bent foot when she is only 13. But Honey passes away from TB. Around the time that Sunja is 17 years old, she discovers that she is pregnant. A few months before, she had fallen in love with Hansu, a wealthy fish dealer who had started talking to her in the market. He says he already has a wife and kids in Japan, so he doesn't want to marry her. Hansu offers to give Sunja money and stay with her when he's in town for work, but Sunja refuses to be Hansu's mistress, even though society will look down on her as an unmarried mother. At the same time, Beck Isaac, a young pastor who is well-dressed but sick, comes at the boarding house. Young Jean and Sunja see that Isaac has tuberculosis and take care of him until he gets better. When Isaac is feeling better, Young Jean tells him about Sunja's weak situation. Isaac then decides to propose to Sunja because it's the only thing he can do to help her and her baby. She says she will marry him. They will live with Isaac's brother Yozeb and sister-in-law Kyunghee in Osaka, Japan, after they get married. Sunja will soon have a son named Noah. The family makes it through Akano, Osaka's poor Korean neighborhood, even though it is poor and Koreans are treated unfairly by the government. After about six years, Sunja and Isaac have another child, a boy named Mosesu. During World War II, Japan's government makes everyone, even Christians, attend weekly Shinto rituals to worship the emperor. Isaac's church sexton, who, says the Lord's Prayer during one of these events as a show of defiance. This gets Isaac arrested too. Sunja and Kyunghee start a successful food cart in the Akano market while Isaac is in jail. Soon, Kim Chang-ho, the manager of a restaurant, gets them to cook for him, which helps them out financially. After three years, Isaac is finally let out of jail, but he is sick, hungry, and has been tortured. He has enough time to die at home. In the last few months of the war, Hansu shows up again and tells Sunja that he owns Chang Ho's restaurant and hired her after Isaac went to jail. He found her when she sold the gold watch he gave her as a child. Soon, bombs will hit Osaka, so he makes plans for Sunja and her family to escape to a farm in the country, where they will be safe and well-fed. In fact, he finds Young Jean and brings her back together with her daughter and grandchildren. Later, he also saves Yozeb after the Nagasaki bombing seriously hurts him. After moving to Osaka with his family, Bukish Mosesu gets a job at Goro's Pachinko Center to stay out of trouble, and Noah works hard to get into Wazita University. Mosesu does very well right away and starts to move up in the business. When Noah is finally accepted to Wazita, Sunja asks Hansu for help paying for his school. Hansu says he can't lend Sunja money because he already paid all of Noah's fees and found him an apartment. Sunja is stuck because she doesn't want Hansu to keep getting in the way but she also wants the best for Noah. Akiko, Noah's girlfriend at the time, tells him one day that he looks a lot like Hansu. Noah meets Sunja and is upset to learn that Hansu is, in fact, his father. He thinks that his ties to the Yakuza have permanently tainted his blood after a lifetime of trying to rise above racist taunts. When Noah quits Wazita, he goes to Nagano to start a new life where he acts like he is Japanese. He is married to a woman named Risa, runs the business office of a pachinko hall, and has four kids. After 16 years of living a good life as a middle-class Japanese family man, Hansu and Sunja find him and in 1978 he kills himself by saying that Yakuza blood is something that controls you. Mosesu married Yumi, a Korean seamstress, and the two of them have a son named Solomon. After Yumi is killed by a drunk driver, Sunja moves in with Mosesu to take care of Solomon. She leaves her candy stand, which has grown into a successful shop. Solomon goes to Western schools because Mosesu wants him to work for an American company one day. By the time Solomon is a youth, 
Mosesu is seeing a Japanese divorcee named Itsuko. At first, Solomon loves Hana, Itsuko's troubled daughter, but when he leaves for college, he meets a Korean-American girl named Phoebe. Solomon gets a good job at a British investment bank, so Phoebe goes back to Tokyo with him. Solomon's boss, Kazu, is scared of him because he has ties to the Yakuza, so he fires him after Goro helps him find an old Korean woman who is holding up a real estate deal. Solomon turns down Phoebe's offer to move back to the U.S. and marry her, so she breaks up with him. Hannah, who is dying, tells Solomon that he should work for his dad's pachinko business. Mosesu didn't want Solomon to work in the shady gambling business, but Solomon believes his father is a good person, and he now doesn't think he'll ever be able to get past being an outsider in Japanese culture. Sunja sees Isaac's grave at the end of the book and learns from Uchida, the groundskeeper, that Noah had been there every day until he died. This proves that he still loved Sunja and respected Isaac's sacrifices for him, even though he was mad at Hansu and sad about his Yakuza blood. About the author Min Jin Lee was born in Seoul. Her dad had fled the Korean War and her mother was the daughter of a wealthy priest. When she was seven, she came to the United States and grew up in Elmhurst, Queens. Lee's parents had a jewelry store in Koreatown in Manhattan, and she and her sisters would sometimes help out. Lee first studied history at Yale and then law at Georgetown. After being a lawyer in New York for two years, she started learning and writing while taking care of her son. As early as 1996, she wrote a lot of short stories and rough drafts for novels about Koreans living outside of Korea. Her first book, Free Food for Millionaires, came out in 2007. In the same year that her family moved to Tokyo, she finished writing the draft that would become Pachinko and talked to dozens of Koreans living in Japan to get their stories. Pachinko has won a lot of awards, and it was even a candidate for the National Book Award for Fiction. She lives and works as a writer at Massachusetts's Amherst College. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.